What is going on, everybody? Before I get started on the video, just want to let everybody know, um, the 15th of February, the new cam is finally coming into the truck. I'm so excited. We're doing it here at the house. Steve is coming here, and he's hooking me up. He's doing it here, and then we're taking the heads. We're sending them out to Fonts to get ported on probably that Monday after. That's going to be a Sunday, the 15th, so, you know, I'll have a video up about with that. Uh, probably the 16th. I'm trying to get it up the next day, possibly... Yeah, probably the 16th. There's no way I'm going to be able to get it up that day because it's a long day. He's going to be doing it. So please stay tuned for that. I know it's a lot of daily vlogs here, but um, yeah, we do got a lot of big things coming. So stay tuned on the channel for a lot of the, a lot of more racing, a lot of racing's coming. Cam install, ported heads videos. Like I'm going to show you the, everything going on at fonts. I'm actually take, using my stock ones. I know I said I was getting some scent, but I, uh, me and Steve decided that, you know, instead of swapping springs all these times and stuff like that, waiting for the heads and stuff like he just thinks it's easier to just and i'm going to save a lot on shipping all the way from texas and then shipping back the stock one so we're going to go with what we originally said he's coming here doing the cam install and um yeah we're going to send the stock heads out the fonts get them ported hopefully it's about a week turnaround time hoping we can get that uh situated as fast as possible and then big things are happening the cam will finally be up well it's already it's up and running it runs just great but uh we're gonna have the new setup finally up and running and then possibly you know work on that. So um, let's get started on today's video. Alright guys, if you're new to the channel, also now, this can, this right now my, my RAM is a 5.7 naturally aspirated. We are canned, we are full bolt-ons. We got a lot of mods done to this thing and we're getting a whole new setup coming up this year and you know we're basically maxing out what we could do na with this thing and we're going to see what we can get we're definitely going for 11s and it's you know this truck's going to run like a monster it runs 12 2 currently in the quarter mile and we're getting a bigger cam ported heads and we're going to go to edelbrock victor 2 and take manifold sometime in the you know when i get enough money for that after this setup's going in but the main reason i wanted to make this video is you know 392 stroker or a hellcat short uh yeah yeah, short block. What is better for boost? Now that's that you know to me it's a very interesting question. It's a very good question. And I didn't know so much about the Hellcat short block. My man Frostbite Ram, if you guys don't know who he is, check his channel out. I'll uh he's the one who actually told me about it. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. He actually told me about the Hellcat short block. You know what I mean? He said it bolts right up to the uh to everything we have currently, to your transmission, everything. It's basically it's almost a direct swap from the five seven. But everything is, you know, it's a little bigger, and obviously everything for the Hellcat is almost um, basically forged, and it, it's a very strong motor, can handle a lot of power, as you can see with some Hellcats around a thousand horsepower on the stock block. So that's pr that that is what I got really interested in, and also it's 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 actually cheaper than running a 392 Stroker. Now, <clears throat> the 392 Stroker, you can actually use your stock 57 block, and you know what I mean. You get a Stroker kit. It if you're getting if you're you if you're getting the stroker kit and sending it sent out to do block work, you're gonna be down a long time to get the motor work. If you buy the core and then you send your at your five seven back to them, you know what I mean? So there's a core charge some places fifteen hundred, I've seen two thousand, twenty five, three thousand, all depends. So that's another thing with you know what I mean, is money. It's gonna cost more to do a three ninety two stroker than the Hellcat short block. Uh, now <clears throat> I was always I've been debating before the five, before I wanted to max this thing out five seven. Here's the reason I wanted to. I almost did the all blower and everything like that, but I'm so close to the 11s running a 12 two and not even uh, max effort in the five seven NA build that I wanted to see what we can get, you know, out of it. I was like, let's get a bigger cam, let's get let's port the heads, and let's go with the, uh, you know what I mean? Let's get the, let's get 11s. No four door NA has ran 11s in a Ram yet. I don't even think they'd run it with a stroker motor or any kind of motor. And this is also four wheel drive. The fastest that has been is a twelve one, and I'm the second fastest at a twelve twenty six. Twelve twelve one eight is the fastest. That's Jay Green, my tuner, and this is in the five seven. And the um, the second fastest is me with a twelve twenty six, and I actually have a four wheel drive, so I am actually heavier. He's done it with more mods, also. He's done it with ported heads, and a I don't know if his cam his cam's a little bigger than mine, but it's different. It's not as I think he said, like, uh, this is the new V, I had the V2 cam. He had a, uh, his old, uh, stage one cam. So I'm not sure what's bigger, what's better, but he is lighter and has a 15 inch conversion. So that helps. And I was almost there. I still think I could have beaten it, 
but you know what I mean? I really want it to, I want to do a stroke. I want to do either a stroker kit or build something for boost as another motor or, you know what I mean? Or just do drop in rods and pistons. That's another option and keep the actual five, seven, not, not the five, seven size. You know what I mean? But the 392 is going to be able to take a lot more power. I don't know how much it could take. I mean, some guys I think are running a thousand horsepower, no problem with them. Hellcats, you know, obviously can run a thousand horsepower. So what's actually better? I guess it depends on what you're looking for and your options. What's stronger? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm making this video to see if you guys know what's actually going to be stronger and better. You know what I mean? Uh, Steve thinks the Hellcat block is probably stronger. My, you know what I mean? It prob probably is. It is a 6.2. And this is going to be a 5.7 stroker, so it's, you know, 5.7 stroked out to a 392. So, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not like a block guy or machinist or anything like that, so I don't know all the details of why something would be stronger. But I would, I would imagine a 6.2 Hellcat block would probably be stronger, but I think you can get more power out of the 392, possibly, I guess. I, I don't know. But I am planning on doing something. I want to make this thing a monster. That was my goal from the beginning. Make this thing a monster. Not from the beginning, from, you know, since I started really putting the cam in. I'm like, let's see how far we can get with this. You know what I mean? And, you know, over the summer, I thought over this next year, while there's new builds going on, I could save up all my money and possibly do something different. Now, I always wanted to do the 392 stroker, looking at what they can do. You Even if I wanted to build an NA 392 stroker, it's going to give out way more power than what the 5.7 can. And if you get the right uh, compression ratio for boost, then you can make these things beasts. And you can really, it's going to cost money. It's going to cost a lot more. But here's the good thing. With the ported heads I'm getting, it'll work for either motor. Like, here's the thing with the Hellcat. Everything will, my cam, my ported heads, even my intake manifold, everything will bolt right up to the Hellcat motor. And the Hellcat motor could easily take out mine and put the Hellcat motor, Hellcat short block right in. That would be pretty sick. You, that 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 to me that's awesome. That we that that'll bolt right into there and everything lines up perfectly. Uh, even the headers, I'm pretty sure, goes right in. So I won't even need new headers. But if I do a bigger motor, I'd probably go with bigger headers. Obviously, I'm running. If I'm running boost, most likely I'm going to get bigger headers. Like one and seven. I'm probably going to go with the one and seven eight headers, or even a bigger uh, bigger cubic inches. I'm going to go with one and seven eighths and the one and three quarter American Racing that I have now. You know what I mean? I will obviously I'll sell or something like that, and I'll go with bigger headers just for more airflow from boost coming in and stuff like that. But that's you know, that's depending on what I actually decide to go with and what is better. So leave your comments down in the you know what I mean to see what you what what you guys think's better. What should I go with? Should I try and save up for the 392 Stroker, or should I put the uh, Hellcat short block in it? Now the 392 Stroker. Without a uh, core charge is 53 or 51 to 53. It ranges from there from different places you're going to get them from. I'd probably go HHP because Jay will be tuning it, obviously. And that's what he recommends. That's what he has in his nasty 426. He has he got his from HHP. So I'd probably go with the HHP. It's a little bit more. I mean, it's a little bit less money. to, to uh, It's like $200 cheaper. But they have a little bit more of expensive of a core charge than, like, say, MMX or something like that. So... I'm not sure if I want to do that or stay with like the Hellcat short block. I'm like, I'm coming back to that because that is even cheaper. That's like $37,000 to $4,000 with shipping and everything can bolt everything right up. And you know what I mean? It will be ready for boost, basically. You know what I mean? If I decided to put a Whipple on it, I know I've always said Pro Charger and stuff like that. But if I'm going, you know, max out, Whipple, I think will get me more power. I like the Pro Charger. I, it, all the, the reason I like the Pro Charger. It's because my I have a very big stall. Basically, it's a big NA stall, and it will work better with a Pro Charger, even a Turbo Charge, you know, kit. But Turbo is just it's a lot of Turbo may cost less, but it's a lot more work if that makes sense. I know you got to do a lot more custom stuff. They don't, you know what I mean? I and you would need new headers, new this and that. It would work, but I'm always I'm always a blower guy. If anything, I like blower. I'd rather get a blower on it. So it would either be. A Whipple or a Pro Charger, depending on what I go with and what setup I go with. I'm going to run basically what I almost have. And I'd probably get a new cam after this. You know what I mean? I'd, if I'm going to go with a bigger motor, I'd probably get a better cam. You know what I mean? I'd get a boost cam. That's it. I'd get a the bigger cam and a boot and set for boost than mine right now, which is a basically an all NA monster cam. So we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see what uh you know what comes this this upcoming season, how the channel progresses. The more the channel grows. 
then it'll be a lot better to decide. You know what I mean? The more views and every you guys watch the videos more, and I got so much content coming. Like last year, in the middle of racing season, I was flowing out races and all types of stuff. Just right now, I'm just waiting on stuff right now, and that's why vlogs are, you know what I mean, what I'm doing. I do have uh, some, I'm doing some other things, but it's not really, you know, RAM related. It's just I'm helping my friends out with their stuff like that and working a lot. So that's why you're getting the vlogs. And uh, some guys like the vlogs. If you don't like them, sorry. It's what I got for you guys right now. But I will be having a lot of good stuff coming up. You know, next video coming up is not a vlog. I will tell you that right now. It's not a vlog. And the one after that is not a vlog. And possibly maybe. You know what I mean? I'll throw a couple in there. I just want to get back to racing and showing you guys what this Ram can do and how how badass we can get this thing going coming up this year, man. Like I said, the, the new the new thing is Quest for 11s, and that's what we're doing. We're going for 11s, and that would be pretty sick. So, uh, yeah. But the, the 392 Stroker or the Hellcat, you know, what's going to be better? What's the better option? Leave your comments down. What do you think we should do? And we're going to go... With a bill, thank you, Frostbite, for telling me about that, man. I saw it in one of your videos. I was like, that's pretty sick that you could do that. And, you know, I'm going to give him a shout-out for that because uh, he got me really interested in that and stuff like that. Because he's, he's running a new uh, Torque Storm Supercharger. And uh, he's running, he always, he's been running boosts. And he wants, I know he wants to up it up and, you know, see what he can do in his uh, 2010 uh, Ram Marte. It's a pretty sick truck. Check his channel out. He's doing big things too, man. So, uh, congrats to you. And, uh. See where we're all going to go in this progressing this season, and hopefully we all run our new best and kill it, man. All right, guys, you know what it is to the next one. Peace.